Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Tonight I'm making a ridiculously yummy and refreshing salad. It's a little bit quirky tasting, so bear with me. It's bacon, strawberry, mango and chicken. Ugh, that fourth thing is always hard to get up, but that is four different main key ingredients. I want to thank my work colleague Laura, who I sit next to pretty much every day and type away on Microsoft Excel, living the dream. And at lunchtime she said to me about this salad, and I was thinking, strawberries, bacon, is this really going to work? But she swears by it. So Laura, I'm going to try this. Hopefully I make it, and then you guys watching it and go, yeah, yeah, I want to try that. And then you let me know how you got on, yeah? Does that sound good? Before we get started, these are all the ingredients you need. So just uh, hit pause on the video, write them down. You know, go like this. Uh, strawberries, right? Uh, yeah, bacon, yeah. Really, really easy. And I want to say a quick hello to Ravina in Houston. Uh, g'day, mate. How's it going, mate? Uh, yeah, straight cobber and all that. Houston, yeah. That's in America, right? Anyhow, right. Lots of prep work to do, so let's get cracking. This ain't gonna take very long. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna get full up on salad. It's gonna be really exciting like a rabbit. Whoa! Okay, I think we'll get the dressing out of the way first of all. We've got this basil plant which I grew by myself. You can buy the seeds in any garden centre. Really, really easy. I kill most plants on rubbish, but herbs, pong in your windowsill, just water them every other day. You cannot fail. And it smells amazing. I've grown quite attached to this one because his name's Basil as well, which is like my nickname, so I'm loving it. I've just picked a few stalks off there, and all I'm going to do is just get my knife and just finely chop it up, you know, any way you want. Don't want big bits because we're going to mix it all in. You just want a teeny bit of those basil leaves in with olive oil and balsamic vinegar. It's going to be yummy! Okay guys, so I finished chopping up my basil nice and thin, like so. I've got a bottle of balsamic vinegar and some olive oil there. To make the dressing, it's going to be three parts olive oil to one part balsamic vinegar. Okay, so you can just make as loads as you want. You can make a whole bucket full if you want, if you're making that much salad. Fair play to you if you are, because that's, that's very healthy and that's a lot of salad. Um, all we're going to do, basically, is start to chuck it all in there, mix it together with a fork, and that is our dressing done. If you want it a little bit more tangy, add more balsamic vinegar, a little bit milder, more olive oil, even a bit more flavour. The herbs, completely customise it any way you want, okay? So let's start to chuck that all in together. Yeah. Super duper. So all I'm going to do is grab my olive oil first of all. I'm going to go one, two, three, like that. I don't know. That's just going to count. Then grab the cork. Ready. <coughs> Did you hear that? Straight out the balsamic vinegar. Oh yeah, that is strong. So just one little drop, ready? One, like so. I love that sort of, can you see? How the balsamic vinegar, like you get in those Italian restaurants, is at the bottom, sort of like dancing around, going Whoa, like that. Anyhow, let's just grab our herbs and sprinkle them straight in, like so. Remember, mix and match it as much as you like. Just get your fork, stir it all through. And if I want some more, I can just double it all up, but that will be enough for me. That is the dressing all done, as easy as that, folks. Yeah! Okay, guys, so I'm going to start to make the salad bit already, okay? So what I've got is some British pea shoots just in a bag like you get in the supermarket, and also some bistro salad. You can probably see the bag is quite wet. I've filled it up with water straight from the tap like that, and then just swung it around like that to make it nice and washed, okay? I'm going to dump those two bags in there. We've also got the spinach, as you know, from the ingredient list, when I went like that, you know, the ingredient list, how cool is that? We're going to leave that to the end because you want to wilt it in the microwave so it's nice and warm because this is going to be a fairly warm salad okay so just get your pea shoots and your bistro salad into the, a big bowl like so i'm just going to dump mine in like so okay cool so both of those bags are in there now one thing i hate is salad where i can't taste the dressing i'm not a rabbit i'm going to admit that i don't really like salads but one way i found my way around it is by making a darn good dressing and liking that and trust me i've just had a little bit of that and i'm liking it okay not too sharp but it's good, yeah? You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is grab my dressing, half of it, and pour it in the bowl, okay? So let me just do that now while you're, what I'm seeing is you're hanging about, I might as well do that. Just about half of it over there, like so. I'm gonna save the rest for the end, and pour it on for a big finale, okay? And I'm just gonna get a wooden spoon and stir it all through to make sure, I'm gonna obviously do it when it's off camera, when I've got both hands free, so I can grab the bowl, like that, and then, you know, really stir it through. And I just wanna make sure that the leaves are all coated in that balsamic vinegar and olive oil coating be amazing so uh stir away please yes beautiful so that dressing is all coated on there the wooden spoon had a good action got it nice and coated and you smell it oh you are in dressing heaven my friends now to help that salad keep its nice zing we're going to plonk that straight in the fridge to keep it all nice and fresh and lively because otherwise if it sits there with the dressing on it it's just going to start to sort of go 
yeah, I'm addressing and not really know what to do with itself. So, plonk that in the fridge, and then we'll work on our four main ingredients, plus the tomatoes. We're not, we're not going to forget about the tomatoes. Bit of prep work to do here, and then it's starting to come together already. Loving it. Right then guys, first of all we're going to start with our chicken breast. I've got a freezer bag there like so, and what I want you to do is think about like when you're in a supermarket and you're walking along in the fruit and veg aisle with your little plastic bag and you're going, hmm, picking things and putting it in the bag. That's all you need to do, literally, well, the picking up bit anyway, is with your chicken, grab it, open up your freezer bag, like so. Almost like you're spilling up a stocking for a child on Christmas Eve. Although everyone knows Santa Claus exists, right? So I'm just going to put that in there. Grab yourself a big rolling pin, like so, and just start to lightly tap it. Don't tap it too hard, otherwise you break it. What we're trying to do is just flatten it out so that when we cook it on a griddle pan, like this, it's going to cook evenly, fast, and you're going to love it. Yeah. Okay, flat chicken plastic. That is all nice and squished using our rolling pin, and it's actually quite good stress relief if you've had a bad day. I'm going like this quite aggressive. I haven't had a bad day, but I'd imagine it is if you go, Argh! you know, just pretend it's someone you don't like. Just just go for it, you know? Anyhow, that can be just plonked to one side. Our bacon, I bought medallions, okay? Which basically, you need no prep whatsoever. I'm just gonna cook them straight like that. All the fat and all that's off of it. Real good quality stuff. But if you just buy some standard rashes, just work the fat off it. Or, if you are fat, and you like fat, leave the fat on, my friends. Strawberries, tomatoes, and mangoes to go. Cha-ching. Okay guys, so the order we're gonna do this now is the tomatoes, then the strawberries, then the mango, okay? The mango, I'll leave them to the end because it's a bit fiddly, it could squish everywhere, gets a little bit gooey, okay? But it's, it's fun, it's gonna, you're gonna love it. With the tomatoes, as you can probably see here, I'm halving them, just leaving the seeds in. So with a knife, literally just straight down the middle. Yeah, just cutting a tomato in half, basically. Very, very easy. Fantastic, those tomatoes are all nice and half, or tomatoes, depending on where you are in the world, okay? You know, we've got to be universal here. So I'm just going to plonk them to one side. The strawberries, I've given them a wash. They're on that plate there. All we're going to do is take off the stalks and halve them. Just want to quickly say, I'm doing a little competition for Father's Day. I got sent a load of chocolate, English chocolate from a company called Cadbury's. Really nice, I know. If you go onto my Facebook page and share one of my videos, just hit the share button. The Facebook address is here. If you hit share, leave me a comment to say anything I've shared it and I will randomly pick four people to win um, a bar of chocolate, okay? Because I'm not going to eat it all, I'm just going to give it away. So go to the page and share any one of my videos, leave a comment, say hi and that, and then uh, okay, you might win some chocolate and I'll send it to you. Yes, from here to you. Right, so let's get on with the strawberries. Yes. Right, strawberries, kind of a weird looking fruit with those funky seeds in there, but as you know, they taste amazing. They're going to give this salad a real good kick. So all we're going to do it's sliced down like so, nice and slow. If you've got a nice sharp knife, it's literally just going to fall right through. And you should also have a sharp knife, my friends. Cha-ching. So I've cut in the top off like that. Cutting? Is that even a word? I've cut or sliced the top off like that. There it is. Ping. Off he goes. And then literally straight down the middle. And if you want, you can just keep cutting it up so you've got a little bit of strawberry. But I want nice chunky bits like that, okay? Can you see that? Cool. So I'm just doing that. To I'm gonna do that to all of my strawberries. And then we're gonna move on to the mango. Groovy. Brilliant, that's our strawberries done. Stalks gone, all nice and halved. Lovely jubbly, just plonk them there. Now, onto the mango, my friends. This is one of the most frustrating fruits in the world. I'm rubbish at peeling it and cutting it up. So if you've got any tips, let me know so I can show them to other people, okay? All we're gonna do, first of all, is grab a vegetable peeler, like so, work it off to reveal the lovely mango flesh, and then cut it without it slipping out of our hands and falling everywhere to get the mango goodness. Let's go for this. Right then, mango. So all we're gonna do is peel it away. Make sure, first of all, when you buy them in supermarkets, you sometimes get these like sticky labels and barcodes on them. Make sure you get that off, okay? So just work away. It's actually quite a tough skin on it as well. So uh, as you can see, look, I have to put my man face on. You know, just, just peel it first of all, okay? To reveal the flesh, like so. And make sure, as you peel it, it's gonna get quite slippy, okay? Be careful, please. Right, just want to give you an example of how slippy it is. I've done the bottom layer, as you can see. It's almost like a Mr. T style Mohican. Look, you just spin it around like that. It's almost um, like that game shuffleboard that they play on boats. It's just going to go, woo! Be very careful. Keep peeling away. Yeah. Okay, so the easiest way I've found to get a mango cut up is, as you can see, I've already got myself a little slither there. All good. Basically, work your way along the top, cut in a little incision, and then in. So again, incision, and then in, like that, and out comes your piece of mango. The closer you get to the middle, it's gonna get a lot tougher. So just work your way around the edges, and any scraps, have them for lunch at work tomorrow. Groovy. Mango-tastic, guys. Check that out, that is all cut up. All I'm gonna do now is pick up the mango, 
plonk it on the plate with the strawberries and put that in the fridge again like the salad just to keep it cool while it gets hot in here and we cook the chicken and the bacon very very briefly indeed i just want to quickly say a very big thank you to everyone who said all the good luck messages and all the oh congratulations about the baby news so baby number two on the way if you haven't heard during january i'm going to show you the scan pictures and that so let's get our griddle pan out cook the chicken and the bacon yeah Okay, so we've got our griddle pan there and it's on a flame like so, I thank you very much. And what we're going to do is, rather than chucking some more oil in, we're just going to grab some of our dressing, just a little bit, just pour that in there, and we're going to cook our chicken and our bacon in our dressing. Yeah. So uh, let's get the chicken on there. It's warming up already. Okay guys, I just placed my first chicken breast in, in goes the second one, like that. Really, really good, all nice and flat, loving it. It's not gonna take very long to cook because it's so thin. I've got my spinach bag ready and the bacon just sat, waiting, ready to pounce, like so. While that's cooking, I wanna tell you a little story, right? Jamie Oliver does this Food Revolution web stream to the whole world, everyone in the entire world, apart from the UK. And he mentions this very cooking show in it, and I never get to see it, but thank you to everyone especially the Americans, because they're all part of the food revolution, that tweeted me and told me everything he said because it was really, really nice. And um, I'm going to try and get hold of the footage because it's you know, getting all emotional. So um, yeah, it says thumbs up. Cool. Okay, just about to turn that chicken over. What I'm going to do is grab my spinach now and just chuck it in a bag like that as it's got a little opening. I can steam it. Bacon is going to go in any minute now. And as it's going to be a warm salad, I'm going to bring my other bowls out of the fridge and start to build it up. This is where it gets a little bit crazy and intense but you're gonna love the taste at the end. I hope. Right, let's turn this chicken over. Da, 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 da. Oh, loving it. Nice lines on there. Wow, that's looking good. Right, what we're gonna do is grab our leaves, start to stack it up all on there. I've actually got so much salad, I'm gonna be doing two bowls like that, okay? Bit, bit noisy over there, so it's gonna be very filling, okay? Ka-ching. Right, so plonk the salad leaves in there. Look how olive oily and glossy they are with that dressing on there. Absolutely buzzing about that. These are just about to finish steaming. These being the spinach. The chicken is nearly done. Let's chuck in the bacon, like so, just around the edges. This is not gonna take very long at all. Okay, so I'm just getting my spinach out. Look, you can see how much it's steaming. That is quite a hot bag, my friends. Give it about 30 seconds to cool down, but you want it while it's still warm. Grab some tongs and just scatter it around there. A little bit of hot green with the cold green. You know what I'm saying? Frick of fresh. Okay, brilliant, the bacon's in there. It's really, really nearly done. I've just got my spinach out of the microwave. It's just steaming it. Let it cool down just a teeny, teeny little bit. In the meantime, start to build up with your tomatoes and your fruit on top of that bed. Let's go for it. I'm just gonna chuck it on right now. I'm gonna do the clicky finger thing because I haven't done that much. Whoa! Fantastic, so I've chucked on my tomatoes, mango, and strawberries. There's no particular sort of scheme or layout for that. Put it on any way you want. It all goes down the same way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, frickin' fresh? Oh, that's really gangster, isn't it? Anyway, right, we're gonna get our chicken and bacon off now. That's both cooked through. Not too well done. Obviously, you don't want it burnt, but just plonk it on a chopping board like so. Tongs, nice and safe. Brilliant, so that is all on there, nice and red hot still. All I'm gonna do is grab myself a nice, slice into it while it's all nice and warm, scatter it all on top of there, little bit of spinach, then our dressing, then we're gonna eat it. Let's slice. Right, so nothing particularly hardcore with the chicken and the bacon, as you can see, it's still nice and warm, loving it. Just grab yourself a fork like that, I've already started doing it. Stab it and just cut along, and because it's all warm and tender, it's just gonna fall off. So just work your way down, nice chunky slices, thin slices, whatever you wanna do, okay? Do the same to your bacon, and then we can scatter, baby. Yeah. Brilliant, chicken and the bacon, it's all cut up. I kind of love doing that, I felt like I was just sort of carving up something. Maybe a little fantasy of mine, I don't know. What we're gonna do is scatter it on there, let's just go for it. I'm gonna click my fingers, because I'm hungry, let's go. Any way you want. Brilliant, so that's mine all done. If you're interested what I did, I put chicken, spinach, then bacon, okay? So, there's one last thing to finish this thing off, and that is our dressing that we made right at the start. Let's just dribble that over, like so. Get some of those herbs on there. As much or as little as you like. Remember, I'm a big dressing fan. As you can see, I poured quite a bit on there. And also, on my leaves, let's eat it and see what this crazy concoction tastes like. Thanks for sticking with me. Right, there seems only one fair way to assess how good this salad is, and that is by getting every bit on a fork, and even the little bit of salad there <laughs> sticking up almost looks like a like a cherry, actually. Let's let's get it in the mouth. Ah, um. mm. Oh wow. That is such a flavour burst. It feels really refreshing as well going in. It was really light, full of flavour, and that dressing is giving it one heck of a punch. Boom. Mmm, oh and the strawberries at the end, just hear that.
You know like in um, Willy Wonka the movie where there's that sweet, it's like a whole meal? That is almost the same effect my friends, you've got that nice balance, you've got the rich dressing on there, you've got that sort of savoury kick with the bacon and the chicken and then the strawberries and the mango finishing it off. Loving it! I think I'm turning into a rabbit. So, thanks Laura, my work colleague, and I'll see you tomorrow for suggesting that recipe. If I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself, let me know how you're on, and I'll see you again, probably same place, next time. Cheers! High five!